2 Peter 3, we're told that we're to be looking forward to a new heaven and a new earth. And we're also told in that same context that because of what awaits us, we are to be holy and righteous people now. So we're to live in such a way now as to prepare ourselves for the life to come. So in the same way that God is preparing a place for us, he's also preparing us for that place. So right now we're learning to live like people are going to live righteously in heaven in the very presence of Christ. In Matthew 6, Jesus said we shouldn't lay up for ourselves treasures on earth, we should lay up for ourselves treasures in heaven. And, and I think the great thing about that is that if you spend your life laying up for yourself treasures on earth, then it means every day that you get closer to the day you die, which is every day that goes by, then you are moving away from your treasures. But if you turn it around and lay up for yourself treasures on heaven, then every day of your life, as you get closer to the day of your death, instead of moving away from your treasures, you're moving toward your treasures. And the person who spends his life moving away from his treasures has reason to despair. But the person who spends his life moving toward his treasures has reason to rejoice. So the more we lay up for ourselves treasures in heaven, the more we focus on heaven, the more we help the poor, the needy, uh, share our faith in Christ, draw people toward him, the more of our time and life and money we invest in heaven, the more our hearts are in heaven and the more our treasures are in heaven so that every day of our life we're moving toward those treasures. And I think that's one of the keys to living a life that's full of joy.